Um, thank you, Michael. And uh, we've just had a most terrific session. I don't know whether we were all there, but it really did carry forward the, the idea that, of course, we moved on from the green economy. The blue economy is a whole new world opening out, and we've had fascinating insights from speakers. Um, I've just, like one of the speakers, like Josh, I think, just come back from um, the Pacific Rim, from East Asia, uh, and uh, he said something about leadership. And I thought, well, although I've got some slightly gloomy things to say to you in a moment about uh, East Asia, um, the, uh, I felt I was in the, in the presence of leadership when um, I ran a hot bath in the hotel, and a little item beside the bath played out the first bars of Jesus Joy of Man Desiring to show that my bath was too hot. <laughs> now, I don't know whether that is the future, but I'd never encountered that before. But, 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 but really, um, Michael, you are an inspiration to us. And in, in the title, CEIP, is investment. And I think, as, as Josh or somebody said on the platform, investment it is. Investment has to have returns. And people just don't put the money in unless there are returns. And that's why the investment platform that you've so brilliantly put together is uh, the way forward. And it, it brings home rather crude and rough lessons that where markets and capitalism and huge forces bigger than any government have to be mobilized if we are to see the tr great transformation of the entire planet on the scale that people are talking about. And the scale is the thing that I come back from East Asia rather overawed by the size of the challenge. It is actually enormous. We are looking at a world which has been governed for 150 years by the hydrocarbons, by their refineries, by their finance, by their pipelines, by their shale gas revolution, by the Middle East with its bottomless wealth, by gigantic platforms, the biggest structures that man has ever made, um, huge systems of um, transmission and distribution, and dominance of household behavior. A huge, huge world. And yet, we are saying that Alongside that is growing an equally huge, another empire, if you like, empires in collision, saying that that is not the world we can live with anymore, that we have to move from that. And I think governments are on our side, uh, the Pope's on our side, Mr. Obama's on our side. Uh, the, uh, we just had a brilliant uh, talk this afternoon from Prince Charles. Um, Bob Geldof's on our side, Beyonce is on, everyone. <laughs> The world of, of hope and youth and dynamism is on the side of the transformation. But you have to be realistic. It is a, a new green empire, or a blue empire, having to challenge a hugely deeply established empire, which is still planning now to spend trillions and trillions of dollars on enhancing the recovery of hydrocarbons. There are more coal stations being built in Asia than ever before. There is, the plans stretch 20, 30, 40 years ahead for more investment, in, um, particularly in coal, which is, of course, the, the worst of the, uh, of the carbon emitters, but also in oil and gas, than ever before. And yet, at the same time, Michael is rightly reminding us, and the, and the um, people this afternoon, who, the platform that reminded us this evening, that trillions of dollars also can be mobilized on the other side to invest. And it's breaking open that um, system and showing how we can really it, it, in the end, I think neither side can win completely. It's the, how we create the unity between this colossal empire of the past and this huge and rising empire of the future that is the key to everything. Now, um, what has that got to do with the Commonwealth? Well, the Commonwealth is really the ideal platform, of the fantastic connectivity system, the like of which has never existed before in history, which enables very complex ideas through a common working language to be transmitted across the whole of the globe to a third of the human race, uh, millions, billions of people in fact, all determined to have a better life, but to do it in ways which are consistent with the future we've talked about this evening and not with the past which is, the day has, 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 has uh, ended. So I just wanted to say we're very lucky to have Michael, we're very lucky to have the kind of organization he promotes you are on the cutting edge of resolving all these problems, but they are absolutely enormous. And also, I wanted to give a little puff for what I'm holding, which is a superb book about 
the Commonwealth network, and always use the word network. It's not just a bunch of governments. It's not just a bunch of, of officials. It is a network of billions and millions of people from every walk of life, from every profession. And in this book here, which I strongly recommend, are a number of essays by uh, various people uh, explaining how this Commonwealth is actually, as the Queen herself says, the platform of the future. You can skip over. Um, now, but be careful, the director of the RCS, oh, yes, don't skip over him, he starts. <laughs> then there's a, there's, a, there's a chap here claiming to be Prime Minister, I bet you better, um, David Cameron. You can, I'm sure he's got a good thing to say, I must read it myself sometime. But, <laughs> but uh, the really good bit is an essay by this chap, David Howell, called The Modern Commonwealth Adding Global Value. Have a read there, because that <laughs> opens out the story that uh, Michael Dixon and others have been talking about this evening. We are in a new world. We are in a new position in every nation. And um, speaking just as a Brit for a moment, I see for my country the greatest possible hope in Britain developing the potential asset of the Commonwealth Network as a means not only of achieving gender equality, um, overcoming human rights abuses and so on, but as a means of achieving the energy transformation that we all want to see. So thank you very much for letting me say a few words. Thank, thank you, you very much. Thank you so much.